two squares are such that the sum of their areas is eight square meters and the difference of their areas is two square meters. Find the length of a side of each square. When we familiarize ourselves with a problem that contains some geometry, the first thing we should do is to make a sketch of the problem. We have two squares and let's label the side of the larger square x and the side of the smaller square y. And all of these sides will be the same in each square because the sides of a square are the same. Now we're told that the sum of their areas is 8. So we can translate that into x squared, which is the area of the first square, plus y squared, which is the area of the second square, equals 8. We're also told that the difference of their areas is 2. So we can translate that as x squared minus y squared equals 2. Now we can see we have a system of equations now that we can, if we add, eliminate the y squared. This would give us 2x squared equals 10 or x squared equals 5 or x equals plus or minus the square root of 5. Notice that there are two values for x, but one of them is negative. So we'll just use the x value, positive square root of 5. Now let's find out what the y value has to be. Well, we know that x squared plus y squared equals 8, which would give us the square root of 5 squared plus y squared equals 8. This is 5. So we have 5 plus y squared equals 8. So y squared has to be 3. So y has to be the positive or negative square root of 3. Again, we only want to use the positive square root of 3 since we're dealing with lengths. So we have a solution of x being the square root of 5 and y being the square root of 3. And those check in the problem so we can state that the sides of the squares are the square root of 5 meters and the square root of 3 meters.